This might be one of the coolest AI tools I have come across in a while. This tool will help you build only functioning apps, whether you are a technical individual, such as a developer or non-technical, but want to build apps, want to see your ideas come to life quickly. I think this is a tool that is great, especially if you are someone who wants to build a full-fledged app, like a very intense product, or if you are someone on the flip side, maybe you're a business person and you have a great idea, you want to pitch it to investors or create a startup, but don't have any money necessarily to put towards hiring a developer, this will help you. Also, thank you to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. I have linked down below their free AI blog writer to help you create AI content quickly, so go check it out. All right, the tool I am talking about is called TL Draw, and I've been playing around with it for a while, building some really interesting things. Mainly, I've been building a lot of different developer or building a lot of different games that when I was first learning to code would take me hours and weeks, literally weeks sometimes, to build. Now, there's a flip side to this. Is that a good thing? I mean, I mean, what I learned during that time, those pain points I faced when I was learning to code and building these games on my own, is it a bad thing now that I can build them in seconds with this tool? I mean, what does that do for people who are learning to code if they're using this? I think it is still a very valuable tool that we can tinker around with, build projects with, as long as you really understand what is going on. At the end of the day for me, I had my biggest learnings when I was a developer, when I was actually working in that role at a company, not when I was just tinkering around. And I think that goes for, this is a way to really fast forward that for people who want to learn to code. And then as I mentioned, the flip side, you're non-technical, but you have this amazing vision, you wanna bring it to life, this will help you. Okay, I'm doing too much talking, let's get into it. All right, we are back with Jack again. I find it way easier when I am doing things that include screen sharing to sit at my dining room table than my office with my massive monitor because there's no space for my camera. So here we are. Actually, I'll share with you. I'll insert a photo here. I'll take a photo. Mr. Muggs is literally laying right underneath the table here and just like, this is great. Life is good. All right, let's get back to it. I'm gonna share my screen here and we will jump into TL Draw. And I think it's really interesting because there are two ways to really use this tool. One being you can go to makereal.tldraw.com and tinker around that way by putting in your OpenAI key. So you do need an OpenAI API key or the other way is you can work with it locally. In their GitHub, they have a repository which really goes through, a readme which really goes through all of the instructions. All right, give me a sec here. I gotta get my screen share going. Also, when it comes to streamlining using AI uh, in our workflows, there are so many areas where its implementation can be beneficial. I mean, we're gonna go through one today using sketches and turning them into code, but I wanna share another one. Once you get that part, when you have the code, whether you're creating a blog, uh, a website, whatever the situation is. One example would be through optimizing the content on our website or platform, which plays a big role in attracting visitors and improving SEO. And one of the best ways to improve SEO is through informative blog posts even though I personally do not enjoy the process at all when it comes to creating blog posts. It, it just, it feels very, I don't know, it's the writing for me. I always get writer's block. I know how important they are. And now using AI tools, I don't have to spend so much time writing them or better yet, so much time procrastinating in writing them because I still do write them. Let's take a look at HubSpot's free AI blog writer tool. Okay, let's go through an example of using the AI blog writer to create a post. Okay, once we have a blog created, one thing I always like to do as a little tip is I like to add in or thread in different data and facts uh, to the blog so it makes it more creditable, creditable, credible. Got it, you get it, you get what I'm saying. And in the past, I would have spent significant amount of time working on researching or looking up different articles uh, through Google to incorporate into this blog post. However, with the AI blog writer, I don't need to leave the HubSpot platform to find this information. It offers machine learning backed articles that I can prompt to retrieve the specific information or facts I need. Also, I want to share one more feature with you that I find particularly valuable. This is for all you data-driven individuals. It is built in reporting to measure ROI. And as someone who values data decision-making, I, I think it's so key, especially as you are iterating and building out different content, 
I love having the ability to track which blog posts are actually resonating with my audience, enabling me to create more of these types of posts. I linked it down below, so make sure to go use it today. It is completely free and it will help you so much at work, in your uh, personal projects. I mean, we are here to build and then AI tools like this one can take care of the rest. All right, let's get, speaking of building, let's get building. All right, I'm sharing my screen here. I'm in Make Real TL Draw and it looks kind of boring right now. I know, but give it a minute here. What's really cool about this is I did put my OpenAI API key, risky, but cool. It's not that risky as long as right after you're done building, uh, I always remove it and then delete my key. Maybe I'm hyper paranoid, but this is what I do. Before we jump into it though, I wanna share with you here um, on Hacker News, uh, something that I was searching up, which is how does TL Draw work? Like what is the tech behind it? I'm someone who's very interested, of course, in how things actually work rather than just using these tools. So I wanted to check it out. So I found this message here from a guy named, or a person named Steve, and he apparently is one of the authors. Um, and I think this is really interesting. So they say the whole Teal Draw project is MIT IT licensed and open source. I think that's amazing. Um, and you can actually, because it's still in development, you can still contribute, join the Discord channel, which is still something you can do now. And then it goes back to a little bit more about the project itself. So at the bottom, there is a renderer named Teal Draw Core that is essentially uh, put React components on a Canvas UI engine. You give it a data model along with a set of utilities to interpret that model. All right, let's see here, what else do we have? The main library exports the whole TL Draw app as a React component named TL Draw. That's one thing that we'll get to in this uh, video here is basically you can export your code and then input it into a different app project that you're creating by importing TL Draw component. This is just so cool. All right. Let's get to it. What are we gonna build with this? I, I feel like one thing I wanted to build with this, this is gonna be tricky and might take some time, but I really want to build fully functioning calculator. This is something that when I was first learning to code, I feel like I spent a lot of time on working, you know, those games where you're building a calculator. So let's go ahead and build a calculator. All right, so all you have to do once you've inserted your API is literally doodle what you want to draw. So we'll start here. This is where our total will go. Then I need to pull up on screen here, calculator, because you know, I have a massive calculator actually in front of me. I guess I could use this for reference. Yeah, sure, let's use it. All right, we're gonna do a basic one though. So we have, there's three by four. One, copy, paste, paste. We'll just keep on pasting two. Suspense part. I'm just kidding, it's not that suspenseful. But let's go here. All right, perfect. Now let's copy, copy, paste, paste. And we'll just keep on doing this one more time. Paste. Then, mm, I didn't really add in a lot of room for the numbers. The, here is what we'll do. Our calculator will kind of be a little strange, but that's okay. I'll walk you through what I'm doing here in a sec here. First, let's add in the numbers. So we have seven, then we have eight. I'm literally just using, for reference, the calculator in front of me. And then we're gonna fill in all of these boxes here. Four. It's not perfect. I mean, the UI could look better and you can make it better if you wanna spend more time on it, but let's just go. So you could do like that, make it perfect but I feel like we're gonna be here for a long time if we do that. All right, are we doing it? Are we committed now? Did I commit us? I committed us. Speed this part up. All right, we have our calculator. It's a very ex eccentric calculator because of the different number sizes, but you get the point. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to do a very simplified calculator. So there will be an addition sign, subtraction, and then of course equals. And let's make these a bit bigger. Now the key here is we need to give it instructions as to what to do, otherwise it doesn't know what to do. So what you can do is I will put some arrows towards it, but say this is a calculator. 
And, and it's funny because TL Draw, they, the engineers who built it are kind of, uh, they have a good sense of humor apparently because you have to literally encourage the AI model to, that it's a good coder and it can build amazing code for you in order to get really good results. So you are an amazing coder. Build a working calculator for me that can add and subtract numbers. Okay, so now let's put this, let's put this here and then we will draw like this and then go here. I don't know if this makes sense or not. We'll see if that works, okay? And then total, total goes here. I think that makes sense. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's try it. I feel like this might be too vague for the system, but let's let's try it. So we go here, make real, and the suspense. It's wild how fast it is. And I'm gonna show you the code afterwards. This is, we're taking things to the next level here. Okay, it, it, it's not going that fast, <laughs> I lied. When I did this, when I made a ping pong game, it went really fast. Maybe it's because it's more complex. Okay, double click to interact. So they kind of moved some things around, but that's okay. Okay, let's go, can I make you bigger? Can I make you bigger? Oops. Here we go. All right, so double click to interact. Let's try it out. Let's do seven plus seven equals that? That's literally taking a drawing we just did and creating a calculator. Let's try subtract three. So it should give us 11. This is a future, like, okay, so this is a small example, but if I go to their, where is it here? This is their docs. Give me a sec here. Let me go to their TL draw. Okay. They have made some incredible, incredible different things. Like this one is a whole blog post that they made. So now what you can do from here, you can simply, where are we here? Go copy HTML, or let's do op open in, you don't have to log in. Perfect. All right, so now you see here, we can see the code that was generated from this. And if we go down, it's very, this is very simple code. Um, you can actually specify what you want it to build in. I've seen, I think it was Wes Boss uh, who used, what did he use for it? Was it TypeScript, I think it was? But you can use JavaScript with this as well. Um, like, sorry, not JavaScript. You can use very specific frameworks or languages. I have only tried it with JavaScript though. I haven't tried it with anything else. So that would be interesting. Anyways, here is our fully functioning calculator made just from a sketch. Like, I need to reiterate this to you. We literally took a sketch I made generated a fully functioning calculator with code that now we can work with. This will take your coding, whether you are, like I said, an actual developer or someone who just wants to build really cool stuff and make it possible. I don't know. I think this is really interesting. I'm curious to get your thoughts. Have you played around with this? If you are someone who has a side project on the go or wants to start a business, is this something you would use to at least get started with it? I linked it down below, um, so go check it out. I just think it's really cool, and we're literally turning sketches to code. Muggs, what do you think? He's snoring, he doesn't care. All right, in typical TIFF fashion, I forgot to film an outro, so we are already on the next day. But I wanted, I couldn't leave the video, I couldn't end the video without saying goodbye to you. So, I hope you enjoyed going through this, drawing a sketch and turning it to code, and also understanding a bit more of the background behind it, what it can be used for, what AI tools can be used for. Speaking of which, I link down below HubSpot's free AI blog writer. I love this tool and I hope you do as much as I do because you know, we gotta focus on the more difficult tasks than blog writing. I'm just kidding, that's a very difficult task too, but AI can really help us with it. All right, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You know the drill. Leave any comments or questions you have and 
I'll see you soon. Thanks everyone.